very well and welcome to yet another The Last Story tutorial video. Uh, today is some kind of extended tutorial, I guess, because I wanted to do a tutorial about the shade boss at the end of this area right here, uh, the Path of Darkness. But instead, we're going to run through the whole area, because I've seen it does give problems to many players. So I thought, you know what? We'll do some sort of extended tutorial. Go through the whole area, area real quick. So, first things first. If you somehow come here with Zorno Zord, do not use it because all enemies here absorb darkness. And that's just a general bad idea to heal enemies. You don't want to heal enemies, you want to damage them. So, take this out. Uh, use anything else about that. I'm going to go ahead and equip a weak weapon. Uh, just to demonstrate stuff, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we just started the area. I didn't do anything, I just saved. I'll grab this real quick. I don't even know what that is, I don't care. It's an air blade. Cursed. Whatever. Uh, the levels are pretty standard. I've done some optional chapters. Not really done a lot of farming. This is pretty much the level that you come with, come here with, but yeah. Now the main gimmick of the area are these mazes here. So they are protected by a big skeleton with a sword. Now these guys have several attacks you need to be aware of. They have two attacks with a sword. This is th this one that you cannot block. I mean you can block, you don't get thrown to the ground, but you, you do get a little stagger. That you have to dodge. It's one of the few attacks in the game that you cannot block. This one, however, you can, you can block it. So the horizontal swipe, you can definitely block. This one you just dodge out of the way. You're gonna get a dodge or you're just gonna get, take no damage at all. And then they have the the spinning attack. They did it early on. Then it flicks sticky. And this one that you can block that does a lot of damage is an area effect attack. The gimmick of the area is that you cannot kill these guys here, the mages. Oh, it's the sticky again. This one is down. Focus on the other one. Our plan is working. Look, the mage is getting slower. So you cannot attack these guys uh, until these until, until the skeleton is disabled. And disable the skeleton by just attacking it. Now you just go ahead and do that a few times, and eventually, after I think it's the number of hits. I'm not sure if it's damage. I don't think it's damage. I think it's the number of hit. It'll do this, and it will stay like this until you strike the maids over there once. You're only allowed to one hit. So you need to make that hit count. Yeah, there's several ways you can make that hit count. For example, you can get a slash off. Which is pretty simple if these guys are close to cover. And yeah, that does 2000 damage. My first hit did like 500. Although that wasn't behind, so it was like boosted by 10%. I'm sure there'll be plenty more fighting to do. Chin up, Zale. To give you an idea, uh, I'm, I'm using a weak weapon right now. I'm using... This knight sword plus five. And I'm I have six hundred attack. Yeah, mark, I, I could use something better than that. It's just, just I, I could go. You know what? Let's use like one of the weakest weapons that I have. What I have, except these ones. Let's go for the weakest physical weapon. Let's go this. No attributes. Four hundred attack. Who designed this place? Oh, what a weird place. Uh, it's all upside down and topsy turvy. The idea is that these fights will last like ages. That's the door we need. Uh, if you if you don't have a lot of attack, because really you can only do one attack on those mages, right? So you need to make that count. If you just attack him blindly, uh, it's gonna take forever, because then you'll have to re-disable the skeleton and do another attack, re-disable the skeleton and so on. And there are several ways you can increase your attack strength. And I want to see uh, how much I do with one attack now. So I am level 31, so I, I, I'm not sure if it's... Like, this is the level I come here and with, and, like, these are level 30, 28, so I'm... I'm okay. Pretty standard. Okay, it's only doing 2 damage now. Yeah, I think... The way to disable the scouts is the number of hits is not damage. Yeah, okay. So see how much damage I do now. Okay, that's... Not a lot. So, yeah, that, that this fight will last forever. Uh, I need to aggro these guys though, otherwise they will just kill Marania and that's not good. 
Okay, she got through with that with the iframes. I can hopefully rebound that poison. Okay, good. Okay, let me just heal a little bit. Stop you. Okay, I couldn't guard that because I was not once I was not looking at the big skeleton. Remember, you need gathering to see the big skeletons. Let's move right over ahead, I think. Okay. Right. So now where's the mates? Okay, so here's what you can do. There are a few things you can do against against these mazes. Again, you can slash them if they're in range. I think they could they, I think I can do that from this side. Yeah, I can definitely do that. Oh, you can activate Power Strike, that's actually what I suggest you to do. Can I get rid of this guy real quick? There you go. I think the infantry will respawn though. Yeah, there's another one. So we're gonna do Power Strike. And I think I'm gonna skip with everybody else. Don't really need to. So let's see, with this weak weapon, with the powers... I did 19... almost 2000. Remember, slash multiplies damage by 2.5. Now I'm gonna quickly switch to something else, uh, something a bit better. Look at the Fallen Angel. This is a guaranteed weapon you get right before this chapter. Yeah, there you go. Get rid of this guy real quick. Block it. Come on, same with Dagger. Okay, he's done for. How much does this do with just the Power Strike? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna magic guard this. Okay. Yeah, this weapon definitely suggests if you don't have anything better. Uh, Fallen Angel. Even even at the base level, as you can see, it's pretty good. I, I can go all out, honestly. I could go all out. Sunblade. Sunblade is... Is one of the best weapons to use here. Maybe I don't have a I don't have a death right now, but if I had that, I could use that. I could go ro uh, rogue heads. There's another fight with those mages. Actually, two more. I'm just gonna go ahead and do them real quick. Then we're gonna go to the shade boss. Uh, the shade boss is really the main draw of the video, really. Uh, that's why I wanted to do it. I've seen more than a couple people having problem with the shade so boss. It's not that hard, like, all the bosses in this game are not that hard once you figure them out. Once you know what the pattern is and how to counter each attack. Ah, uh, it's pretty easy. They're all pretty easy. That seems like a given, but it doesn't work like that in every game. And this one in particular, it, it's the fact that once you know the pattern, you know what you have to do. Every boss is not that hard. The only one that I consider to be hard is uh, Athar. No, uh, yeah, yeah. Athar? Yeah, Athar, Athar. Yeah. That is the only one that is just straight up hard. It just, it just does a lot of damage. You can't do anything about it. It's just, that's how it is. Okay, so he's confused. I blocked up the, I mean, I disabled the skeleton. Which, by the way, you can kill this thing. It's just, it has so many HP that you cannot do it until New Game Plus. Uh, but yeah, it's, it is possible. 100%. I still feather is out of the main. Cool. But Dagger, what are you doing? Thank you. Chain 3, chain 4, chain 5, chain 6, block that. And then disable it. Is the maid near a cover? Yes, it is. I should be able to slash that from here. From the side, maybe? Nope. Okay, how about this one? How much damage is it gonna do? Yep! More than 10,000 damage. This is, this is a Rogue's plus 9 slash and power strike. That could have been a crit for 20,000. Like that. You can easily one shot these guys. Like, yep. You really need to, like, know all of your. All of your damage multipliers. Slash is a big damage multiplier. It's a 2.5 multiplier on your base damage. Power strike is a 1.2, I mean, 20%. Uh. So if you strike, you know when you when you hide from to do a slash, the enemies get a little question mark. Uh, that's the thing. It's another times two. And rogue gets here as another times three on slash. 
the multiplier grows quite fast. And if you combine all those multipliers, since they stack multi multiplicatively, if you have a times 3 and a times 2, it becomes a times 6 and so on. This was about a times 20 or so on. Yeah, so. Now we, have, we have the last fight before the boss. I'm just gonna keep this. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep this weapon, whatever. There's two now this time. We're just gonna. S no, I didn't get the slash there. Okay, I don't think it's damage. You can see I did 3,000 right there. I do 4,000, 400 with a basic attack, 3,000 with a slash. I'm just gonna aggro both of them. Keep holding block. Okay, can't see what's going on here. Let me just regroup for a little bit. Okay. We're just gonna do that. Get the aggro. Wait for Mariah to cast the heal circle. We're just gonna block here. Kinda drag them away from our party members. Jump there and heal. Okay, didn't get a slash there. I'm trying to get a slash off and just not able to apparently. Yeah, disabled one, I think. No, they're still buff alive. You guys do that? Okay, it's fine. Uh, I don't need to power strike right now. I am good as I... Okay, good. They're buff disabled. Again, power strike. Question mark? Yep. Uh, it's easy as that. Yeah, we did it. Now, you could farm over here. I hope so. But there's no point... Uh, but you don't really need to. Now, I usually do three fights every time I find uh, one of these farming spots. Definitely grab this weapon, it's one of a kind. You can only find it here. And can be pretty good later on in the game for certain sections. Uh, like... The Place of Secrets or even Tower of Trials, which is coming up real real soon after this area. What was that noise? What noise? Uh, this is an Ogre Nail. Uh, if you want to upgrade the Ogre Ammer, that's the, literally the only weapons that they use that. And if you like that weapon, definitely pick that up. It's one of the two guarantees that you get. Now, uh, I'm actually gonna switch to a weaker weapon, to the weakest weapon I have. Ah, uh, to to not kill this thing too fast. So Reptid adds Dagron has that's that's weakened Dagron as well. Super weak Enchanter. You know what? Let's do buff Enchanter. Let's just go Omega weak. You know. Uh, by the way, uh, Mirania has a dagger, which is basically the worst magic weapon. So, the shade, this is the thing about the shade, it's got a few attacks. This is the main attack, it does that. Pillar of Darkness, if you're in there, there's massive damage. It's got the scream that stuns and interrupts mages, even the, when they're casting. It's got, it can, like, plunge on the battlefield like that. that I think that does damage. Uh, but you can easily dodge that. And we'll keep doing that, and eventually, after a while, it'll do this. It'll possess a party member. It can either be Marania or Dagron. Now, if it possesses Dagron, it's fine, because all you gotta do is have him step into a heal circle or defuse one. If it gets Marania, uh, you cannot... Unless you have a heal circle, you're kind of screwed. Oh, this is the other attack that he does. It just spins twice. It's twice, so, yeah, be careful. Just block that. The situation and give the so in order to hit the shade, because you can't hit them with physical attacks, you're just going to whiff. Dagron's trying his best, but it's just not working, see? So what you gotta do is you have to use magic. Once you hit it with magic, or by diffusing some magic, it'll be vulnerable. There we go. Now you can infuse your weapon and go in. Now do that chain. Okay. I'm just gonna retreat now. Power strike. Recover. I actually don't need the power strike because if he gets possessed, I'm gonna hit the power strike. Do that. So the other thing the shade the shade boss does is this. Summons enemies. You wanna knock these guys off the cliff. Because when the shade respawns after a certain amount of time. It will suck all the elf of these guys and heal. And right now it's about to do it. Because the elf bar popped up. And as you can see now it's going to heal by like a lot. Yeah, 7,000 like that. 
This is a very DPS fight. You need to have a certain amount of DPS. Now, we're just gonna power strike. Let's see what we can do with these weak weapons. Let's see. Uh, Mara's about to cast. Here's the cast. We're gonna slash that. Hey, wait. Let's see what we can do now. I'm gonna retreat, power strike, recover. One, two, three. Who got possessed? Oh, Mirani got possessed. Yeah, and if Mirania gets possessed, there's nothing you can do about it. You just gotta kill her, unfortunately. Darwin's just doing that. I'm having trouble pushing these guys to the back. I got one out of two. So pretty much all my progress is gonna get I'm done now. Kind of. Okay, let me revive Mirania real quick. Okay. A couple of those and a leaf. And just rotating between a leaf and. Are you doing it, Mirania? I think she got interrupted. No, there she does. Never mind, I guess. You can actually block that, but. I wouldn't suggest it. I'm just gonna revert her to our cover right now. It took so much time. Okay, right, wait. And two. As you can see, not doing a lot of damage. If you're doing very little damage, this fight can last forever. Chances are Mirani is going to run out of lives because she's going to get possessed every now and then. Okay, this one's easy. I can just... Nobody got possessed. You can get either a possession, a mini some minions, or buff. It's random every time. Yeah, but I'm not going to keep doing this forever. Come on, give me that chain. Your best bet is a chain. Now I'm gonna switch weapons here, and, and you're gonna see how fast that goes. Um, go for... I don't wanna go too ham on it. I'm gonna use the Lapis last okay? We just picked this up. Just pick this up, okay? I'm just gonna keep that, keep that on the weakest thing he has. Okay, you go down. You can actually kill these guys if you're strong enough. Like this. They don't come back to life. Now. No, no, no. Go leaf. Immediately put them vulnerable state. Shoot one. Oh, uh, come on. She got interrupted, I think. Yeah, she has to restart. If you have a full command gauge, you can just tell her to recast. I don't. You can see. Come on, Dagron. Thank you. A lot more damage coming through here. So, really, it's about your DPS. I think you can get that heal circle off. Yep. Someone got possessed. I heard someone getting healed. Don't know who it was because they were buffing the heal circle at the time. Don't do that. Just knock him off. Thank you. That's gonna pop out again. Not yet. Wait. Wait for the elf bar. Okay. It's over here. Here it comes. Oh yeah, so that does sticky. Dagger is kinda trying to heal right now. I'm just gonna mash this thing. Uh set you to recover, sure. Okay, what's happening now? Who's gonna get possessed? Dagron is possessed. Who's gonna hold guard? Wait for Marania. Move with Marania. Thank you. Alright, get this guy. Sometimes you don't want to do that back attack and. Stop! Game! Three in a row! What the hell? I've never seen that before. Man, this is the rotation. This is just the rotation. You just keep doing this. If you're not doing it, it's your attack. You have to just increase your attack. You have dodge that. Okay. That one isn't in the heal circle. I mean, in the elite circle. 
I guess we'll just do like this for a bit. Okay. Ah, we are out of that magic. Actually, since we are out of that magic... Oh, never mind. We got another one. Wait. Uh, let's do power strike then. Power strike, power strike. We're going to... Now we set you to recover. It's fine. Oh, never mind. It's gone. Didn't have to do that, I thought. Yeah, I silenced these guys. Stop doing that! I need to push them away from here. Like so. Go, 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 go hit the other one. Yeah, that one's gone. Like, even if you weaken them, it's still good, because it's going to recover less HP. Because it's a drain this is a drain move. So the less health these guys have, the less health they recover. Which is obviously very nice. Now let's see. Let's make this faster. Dagger. Get the fallen angel. How about now? How fast is that gonna go? Look at that. It means in the thousand now. Almost got it, just one more hit. Mm, I think we're about to see Mirania, possess Mirania. No, never mind. Just a couple minions. Why do I keep doing this attack? Stop. There we go. I think we might as well kill these guys. You chain attacks. That does it. And we're about to finish it. Yeah, this was the shade boss fight and the Path of Darkness. As you can see, not that bad. All you need is a bunch of DPS. Because really, you need some certain amount of attack. If you don't have it, you do have a Fallen Angel unless you sold it. Which I don't know why you should do that. But uh, you have the tools. If you come here, you should have the tools. So there you go. This is, this is how you beat the chapter. I guess I'll see you in the next video, where we'll analyze another boss fight. See you all then.